Okay, y'all, it's your girl. Hair rising. Let's get into this now. We're going to be using Cream of Nature Argan Oil Extra Hold Edge Control for them edges. Okay? Of course, you want your edges to look like they came all the way from England. Even though I didn't know what England edges look like, we're going to go ahead and slick your hair down. Okay? So, the purpose of this... Argan Oil Extra Hold Edge Control. We're gonna go ahead and put it on the part. Let's make the part, part crisp. No, we don't want to zigzag. We want a straight line. So go ahead and put that on the part so we can make it straight. Great. It took me forever. Jeez Louise, I didn't know I took this long for a freaking part. It's a joke. Hurry up. Yeah. Like now. Okay, so I guess we got to keep talking about the Argan Oil Edge Control since I'm still using it. Oh, JK, we're done. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to tie off the one side of the head so that, you know what I'm saying, we can focus on the other side. Get some edges out because we're about to slick them. Okay, if slicking edges was a diploma, I would have gotten my stuff in sixth grade. No cap. Okay, so for your edges, we're going to use She Is Bomb Control. She Is Bomb Edge Control. Okay, we're gonna push it down and pull it back. All right, for this part, street, pull it down, swoop it back, and run it back to the front. Run it back to the front. Zoop, scrape like that, period. Nothing to it but to do it. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna grab some more of that Argan Oil Edge Control and we're gonna go ahead and just flicking up the edges of the hair. You know what I'm saying? So we can go ahead and braid. So when we braid it, it's a flawless braid, period. You, you, get, you get what I'm saying? Period. Okay. So, okay, we're going to go ahead, combing it in. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Combing it in. Getting it together so we can make that braid. Beautiful. Period. Like you are. You get. <laughs> okay. All right. Put it together, Linda. Come on. Speed it up. Now, for the hair, we're going to use expression hair. Expression with an X, not with an E X, with an X. Okay, I don't know who spelled it like that. That's not my business. That's the only hair I use. Get into his braid. I had to slow it down to like peace. Okay, so y'all can get into it. All right, now, so you're going to go ahead and you're going to take the braid and you're going to head and sort braiding it. And um, what I've learned is best for me is to go ahead and use the tail of the rock tail comb to go ahead and make your incision. To get your stitch braid. As you can see, I used the tail of that rock tail comb to go ahead and make my part and go ahead and braid it in. You want to go ahead and start off with the client's real hair. That's why it's called feed in braids, okay? Not feed me braids. You get what I'm saying? You, you don't want those throwback African braids. No, no, no. We don't want that back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Those little African braids you used to do back in the day where you go ahead and you can see that the weave is starting. You don't want that. Okay? That's not what we're going to do. Not today. Okay? Wakanda forever from Africans. So you're going to go ahead and you're going to make an incision. Yes. Go ahead, swoop it in, and bring it back. All right. I can feel a beat coming on. Make that part. Swoop it in. And run it back. Okay? Make that part. Swoop it in. And run it back. Okay? Make that part. Swoop it in. Uh-huh. And run it back. Okay, this part of the video is kind of slow. I did not expect it to be this slow. Hurry the hell up. All right, go ahead and insert that braid. Braid it in. Come on, come on. Make your incision. Put it in. And swoop it back. All right, now. So what I want you to do here is, go ahead, as you can see, as I'm continuing. Go ahead and super tin and put it back. All right, Linda, hurry up now. All right, super tin and go ahead and bring it back. So when is it going to get a little bit faster? Because this is not working for me. Okay, 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 okay. Here we go, here we go. We're about to get a little bit faster. We're going to make a go ahead and make a last incision here. Okay, make that incision and go ahead and pull it in. And begin to braid. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. We're going to move it a little bit quicker now because you should get the concept. If you cannot get the concept, go ahead and rewind it. And go ahead and make it a little slower so you can get the concept. And you can keep up with me when I'm going faster. Okay, so now we are going faster. You're going to go ahead and swoop it in. 
to pretend and put in the hair. After you put in the hair, you're going to go ahead and braid it back. And go ahead and make another incision on the side. And then to pretend again. Oh my goodness, Bata Monty. This is amazing. As you can see, you are getting the stitch braid effect. Because you're using the tail of the comb to go ahead and stitch it in. As you can get what I'm saying. A lot of people don't know this, but I love to share with my people. Okay? Yes, okay? So as you can see, we are going ahead and we are braiding it in. Okay, I'm see that, I'm see that, I'm see that. Oh my goodness, my fingers are moving so fast. I'm so amazed and so fascinated. Okay, we're braiding it in. We're almost done with the side. Oh my gosh, this takes forever. Okay, now I don't want to continue talking because I cannot sit here and talk for the end of this braid. Okay, swoop it in. All right, now. Bring it back. All right, now. Take it in. Yes, yes. Now bring it back. Go again. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and play some music for you guys so that you can go ahead and see me finish off this braid. What we do right now, they call this, they stretch the hair, okay? So you don't want the hair have, have a, a, a blunt end, <clears throat> excuse me. So you stretch the hair so that the hair has has tip, okay? So you can braid it all the way down, okay, naturally. I'm sure you saw it right now. I'm pull the hair so the hair can be uneven, and then after I'm pull the hair, give me a second, please. After I'm pull the hair, I'm take the boss. Um, you need a a a a, a big tooth boss. You need big boss. A, they call it wig boss, and you boss the hair, boss the hair. Sorry. Boss the hair so the hair can be can be untangled and smooth. You boss the hair. 
Yes. So when you both see the hair, you see the hair nice hair. Look at the hair. Yes, it's nice. You see the end of the hair, so you can do the hair down. Now this next part, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to do the braid again on this side a little faster. You see, I'm do the edges. I'm telling you, I'm do the edges crazy. Yes, the edge is beautiful. Bring it back, run it back to the front. Thank you so much. Um. I apologize now. Me and my client, we talk a lot. Me and my clients, we love to talk. So that's why we talk so much. We laugh so much. But please enjoy this video. I'm come back later when I'm do the ending. Thank you so much. Okay, and we're gonna use this and just go ahead and put it all over our client's hair on her edges and everything because por qué, um, if you ask por qué, it's because this mousse helps solidify everything. Okay, it gives everything a beautiful finish. Oops, skirt, skirt. She has to move over because my blow dryer is not that long. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and mix it all through her hair in blow dryer for an amazing finish. And we're gonna go ahead. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to um, add a couple of charms to her hair. Um, Yes, that's what we're going to do. If I would hurry up and do it, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and add a couple of charms to her hair. One at the top, one at the bottom. Client's request. And bam. That's it. Thank you guys for watching. You guys are the best. Ooh.